So the biggest news that we saw today that came out was Surface Duo spec was leaked. Now I've got a confession to make now. I love Google products and I actually confessed it to the Google team, but the attitude that they responded to me, they're like, and I'm pretty sure like, I'm one of those guys who want to get those um, tech really ahead of anyone else so that I'll show you that it's good or not. I always want to be in that position, but I'm pretty sure this year, the way how Google is giving privilege to the US consumers, but giving huge disadvantage for guys like me in, based in UK, I'm actually having second thoughts on buying uh, the Pixel 5 or 5XL, whatever phones that's going to be released this year on October. So I thought about what would be the alternative and I thought um, Surface uh, Duo will be a perfect one because to start with, Surface Duo is rumored to be 1,200 US dollars, which is a really good price uh, comparing to overpricing Apple. It's affordable. I know there's going to be some a big crack in the middle, but still it's a very good price. And Microsoft has been very good with their price. And I think that's one of the reasons why they compete against Apple for many, many years. Um, and one of the secret weapon. Now, the Duo spec has been apparently being uh, leaked. And um, it's not really good news if it's gonna be true. And um, I don't think they're gonna back it up um, with their latest technology either because I have the Surface um, Pro laptop here and I have a lot of um, grunge against this uh, tech. And um, basically to start with Snapdragon 855 SOC. So I think the SOC is so, uh, stands for semiconductor, but I think it's something to do with the tablet system and, and so on. But Snapdragon 855 is already applied to Samsung like Galaxy S10 or the Fold, which I actually have here, Galaxy Fold, and um, Note 10 or Sony Xperia LG uh, G8 Think and so on. So it's already available. It's not one of those advanced Thing other than I can see the SOC which is the semiconductor um, initial that is sticking out. Now it has a 6 gigabyte RAM which is pretty impressive actually um, compared to this one I think it's like one or two gigabytes which is a very old laptop but I still find it useful. Um, now there's, it's going to be either 64 gigabytes or 256 gigabyte storage. Now the Galaxy Fold that I have here is technically 500 gigabytes which is really good. Um, I only used about 20% of the internal memory while as the Pixel 3 XL they pride themselves about like they could use the way how you could save up all the memories now I got this 32 gigabytes for the uh, internal memory for the uh, Google Pixel 3 XL and after downloading a lot of YouTube videos I realized you do need plenty of internal storage and so on Android and and I think that was a huge weakness here so I do like the uh, internal memory I think 64 gigabyte will be the cheapest option maybe if we're going to 256 gigabyte internal storage it's gonna be like 2000 US dollars or something which is gonna be ridiculous now it's a single 11 megapixel sensor uh, camera um, and um, and so on but um, so one of the big letdown in a lot of tech magazines or tabloids are actually saying that is the huge letdown is the battery life. Apparently, the um, it's going to be around three thousand four hundred and eighty, okay, three thousand four hundred eighty milliamp per hour. So just to give you an idea, this is Google Pixel three XL. This has three thousand four hundred and sixty or fifty, so it's about thirty milliamp less. And I actually find nowadays that Google Pixel is almost nearing to two years. The battery draining is not good news at all. While as uh, the Galaxy Fold, it actually has 4,380. And this is really impressive. I don't know whether you've seen my unboxing of so-called the um, the Escobar Fold 2. When, when the package arrived, when I opened it, sealed the sticker, you know, the sticker was off, it was still operating straight away. And the thing is, I saw the beauty of it is that normally when you actually leave the phone overnight, the battery tends to drain up to like 20 or 30 percent. This will remain up to top 90 percent, um, 93 or 94 percent if you leave it overnight. I don't know how Samsung did it, but the point is, it's 4,380 milliamp per hour, but the um, the Surface Duo is going to be near to the old. Um, the Google Pixel 3 XL battery standard and it's going to be a foldable phone as well so it's not really good news at all so tech 
um, it's a rumor at the moment so we shall see maybe Microsoft will come up with a better battery life or better they're still in a development stage um, they might change that but if this rumor is to be true and this is going to be the starting range or and so on I might actually reconsider getting a Surface Duo I really I think Surface Duo is going to be going to make me a standout uh, as a tech guy that was the charm I had and I always liked these foldable phones like these um, but uh, at the moment it doesn't sound really good um, I thought they're going to have one of the best um, phone uh, camera lens but that doesn't seem to be that promising either obviously I'm not an expert but I think they're the biggest specimens like the examples that I have will give you a good idea now the surface um, laptop that I have here you can hear the fan noise actually running I don't know whether you can hear that but the biggest problem I have is even the tech uh, technical support can't sort it out is that this computer screen freezes if it's not charged so I'm, I, I can't use it as a proper laptop and I have actually complained to the lab uh, Microsoft but uh, this has run out but I do like the price range of Microsoft and I just don't trust Windows but I'm so used to it it's like one of those having those one of those things that you can't get rid of but it's essential kind of thing so I wouldn't mind Surface Duo to be not one of those high range best performance kind of thing but looking at the battery life and like oh, just internal memory of 64 starting from 64 it's making me think twice again but we shall see I'm I'm I would like to get it but I will also think about how quickly can I get the um, pixel uh, 5 or 5XL if that's going to come out but if it's going to be a couple of months later then uh, the UK consumers getting it then US then definitely I'm going to get Surface 2 or no matter what sort of spec I'm going to get because at least it's going to perform well and it's going to stand out so anyway so I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of what we're expecting from the Surface Duo I'm going to keep an eye on it if I get any more updates I'll let you know anyway so thank you very much for watching this video this is LZB Tech hope you guys have a nice weekend all the best Bye-bye.